business idea number one, become an AI consultant. The way this works is you would audit a business and you would find ways for them to incorporate artificial intelligence. That way they can save at least five hours of time a week. And I know this works because I have paid thousands of dollars for this exact thing. Now, I'm kind of tech savvy, not super tech savvy, but I understand the basics. But wow, I didn't realize how much I didn't understand about AI until I paid somebody to help teach me. Now, the way to go about this isn't just to go out and with a shotgun approach, ask any business, can I help you with your AI strategy? Because you want to be able to specialize and really understand how you can solve a business's needs. So you want to find a business that's making money. Maybe that's a doctor's office, a dentist office, a veterinary office, a dental clinic, or some other sort of business executive and show them how you can save them five hours a week. And I'll show you a few tools that you can learn. By the way, I'm not sponsored by or endorsing any of these companies, just a few resources to help get you started. Number one, hypewriter.ai can help you respond to emails. Number two is otter.ai, which can help you take notes while you're in meetings. Number three is designs.ai that can create logos and graphics and images for you. Number four is how to do research with ChatGPT. And number five is how to dub videos in different languages with Speechify. There's literally an infinite number of ways that you can use artificial intelligence. But if you can master a few of the ways and find find businesses that can benefit from that, you can charge businesses a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars to buy back some of their time. Everybody and their mom has been hearing about the artificial intelligence boom, but most people have no idea how to actually use AI in their business. So if you can help solve that problem for businesses, you can make some money. And if you still don't understand what's the potential with this, well, there's an educational company out there called Mind Valley, and they have an artificial intelligence bootcamp, and they charge $10,000 to $15,000 for you to join the AI bootcamp. So yes, I think you can pretty comfortably charge at least a few hundred dollars to a couple thousand dollars to businesses to teach them how to use AI to buy some of their time back. Number two is start a cleaning service for landlords. The economy is pushing more people to rent than own, which creates opportunity for you because if more and more people are renting, that means that management companies are going to need assistance to help turn over properties because anytime somebody lives in a property as a tenant, they're going to eventually move out. And when you have more renters, that means you have more turnover. Maybe somebody's moving out after 12 months, 18 months, 24 months, but there's more turnover if more people are renters. Now, as a landlord or a property management company, when a property goes vacant, you have to clean it up, do some basic repairs on the property and make sure it looks nice for the next tenant. And this is where no management company or landlord for that matter is going to want to overpay to do a basic cleaning service. And so if you can specialize in cleaning for landlords or property management companies, property management companies are the companies that manage rental properties for landlords. Well, now you could come in and specialize in doing that type of cleaning and turnover, where if you can come in and know how to clean up a property pretty quickly and efficiently and do some of the basic repairs, like fill holes on walls and know how to get some stuff out of the carpet and flooring. Well, now you can create a contract, work with the management companies or work directly with landlords and say, hey, I have this new cleaning business. We specialize in rental property turnover. And if you can do a quick job and be an affordable price, well, now you have a lot of potential business opportunities because I can tell you as a landlord that property management companies and landlords are struggling to find people to do this work quickly. Number three is be a doctor driver. I've spent a lot of time in Ubers and Lyfts and I always like to talk to the driver about how businesses and how things are going. And one of the trends that you've been hearing with a lot of Uber drivers and Lyft drivers is that, well, they're just making less money. Either people are buying less rides or the Uber and Lyft company are taking a higher percentage. And so a lot of drivers are just not making enough money or as much money as they were. But there are people that need rides. And some people don't know that they need rides. And what I mean by that is if you look at high paid professionals, people like doctors and attorneys, people who are making a lot of money per hour, if they have to drive 30 minutes to work and back, that's an hour of time. And if these people charge $250 an hour for the time, sometimes more, you could now be that driver for a fraction of the price. Maybe you charge half the price, that you charge $62 or $65 each way to drive a doctor or an attorney in a nice car to their work on time and you pick them up and bring them back. Well, now you save them time and you can also make some money. But here's the thing, you have to understand marketing here because if you can show doctors and attorneys, because many doctors and attorneys are not financial people, they're not business people, they don't understand the value of their time. Well, if you can show them that, hey, if you're sitting in the back seat in a comfortable car, well, now you have more time to answer emails. You have more time to take phone calls. You have more time to relax and just think. Instead of you having to drive and have to stress in traffic, I can take care of that job for you for less than what your hourly rate is. That way the doctor or the attorney or the accountant can buy back some of their time 
and now you make some money. Number four is create content with a purpose. My prediction over the next decade is that we're gonna see more and more businesses come digital. And we've already seen this happen, but what I mean by digital is a social presence that involves a person, almost like an influencer for the business. And what you can take from that is you can almost like be the influencer for your own business because back over the last decade, the content creation business, so if we're talking about podcasters or YouTubers or Instagrammers, the way that these creators made money is you would make money through advertisements or from affiliate deals or sponsorship deals, but there's a much bigger opportunity and the opportunity is to create content with the purpose of building your own brand. So let's say you build this cleaning company where you clean properties for management companies and landlords. Well, now what you can do is just buy a camera or use it off your own phone and record how you clean and narrate how you clean properties and make it a fun and engaging video. Well, now what you do is number one, if you can grow, you can make a little bit of ad revenue, which really isn't the purpose here, but the real purpose now is you can drive leads back into your business because who's gonna wanna watch a video about how to clean a rental property? Well, maybe a management company or a contractor or another landlord who, if they know who you are and they start to kind of like what you do, they'll say, you know, this seems like a good person. We should wanna work with them. And if they see that you're in the area, well, now they might wanna give you a contract. And this is where now you can create content with a purpose. And I think you're gonna see a lot more businesses get into this, especially the larger businesses. Now, of course, it's difficult to start, but there's a lot of way to do this, even if you don't have a physical brand. For example, one of the things that I do, you probably heard me talk about this a lot, is promote things like Market Briefs, my free financial newsletter. Now, why do I do that? Because Briefs Media is my company. Briefs Media is in the business of creating content for financial news, financial trends, and financial education. And one of the things that we offer is, of course, Market Briefs, our free financial newsletter that breaks down what's happening in things like the economy, how housing, stocks, crypto, and the global economy. Now, there's a couple of ways that I can go out and get customers. There's a couple of ways that I can go out and get readers for our brand. I could go out and run Facebook ads, which we are now starting to do, or I can also promote it to my own audience. And promoting it to my own audience gives me the opportunity to get readers, kind of testers, essentially, for free, because now I don't have to pay money to go out and find a reader. In fact, I'm getting paid to do that because I get advertising revenue when I make this video, but I also get leads for our brand. And so now it's kind of flipping the script of how you can get customers because before the way that people would get customers is I gotta spend money in some sort of marketing channel to find a customer. But if you can start creating content, well now you can have the customers coming to you, which can lower your cost to get a customer, but also increase your brand trust. But this requires you to put in the work because the reality is creating content is not easy. It takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of time to get any traction. But if you stick with it, you can start to grow and see some views and some listeners and some subscribers to your brand. And guess what? You don't need hundreds of thousands of people or even tens of thousands of subscribers to really make a big dent in how much money you can make from your organic content. Because if you're selling high-end services or if you're selling services that cost a decent dollar amount, you only need a few people to come in to really make creating the content worthwhile and every view is a person. And if you're creating tailored content that can really help your potential buyers, well, it's a lot easier to get them to want to buy your stuff if you're showing your value and they're choosing voluntarily to find it instead of you trying to run advertisements to find those people. If you enjoyed this clip and you want to continue your financial education journey, I have another video that I think you'll love. All you got to do is click that button right over there. And for those of you who want to stay up to date on the top finance and business news, you can join Market Briefs, my free financial newsletter, by clicking that button below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.